food God suggests? What food does Allah God suggest? He suggests the food that is good for us and it does not make us ill. Food that is for human consumption and not for animals. Never before have we gone so far astray. The European white race, blessed with the privilege of eating the best food that the earth provides, has taught us to eat the worst divinely prohibited food. We eat all the time, three and four times a day. This is enough to wear out the intestines of a brass monkey. Eat a single meal a day, no matter what anyone says. If your doctor says that you should eat more than one meal a day, ignore him with a smile and eat only once a day. If he tells you he eats three meals a day, then tell him that the length of his life is about the same as his patient's. Then tell the doctor try eating one meal a day. The more idle our stomachs are, the longer they will last. The more we tax our stomach, the sooner it wears out. We all try to live as long as we can because nature never teaches us that we should not try to live. We do not have a nature that teaches us to die or teaches us of life somewhere else. No matter how staunch a believer the Christian may be in a life after the grave, if he gets sick, he sends for the doctor. He prays to stay on here and not to go to the unknown. To live a long time, Allah in the person of Master Far Muhammad has taught me life must begin with the type of food that will prolong life. We have been talking about bread. There are people so poor, they have no choice. And there are some so rich who still have no choice. Whole wheat bread cooked thoroughly is the best bread. It should be ground very fine. It can be ground almost as fine as its white kernel. Never eat cornbread. As I said, rye bread is all right for the hard working man. Even at that, it should be cooked twice. The Christian civilization has taught the so-called Negro slave to eat freshly baked bread, white biscuits or white rolls just out of the oven. And it scorns old bread, which is better for the stomach than freshly baked bread or cakes. There are many foods we would like to teach you not to eat, but at present so many of you cannot avoid eating them. We must prepare and grow our own food. Because this is a highly commercialized world, they graft a lot of food and some of this food is not good for our stomachs. Soybean flour is very rich and not good for our stomachs. Our stomachs are too delicate for soybean flour. Therefore, leave those beans alone. The animals, especially cattle and hogs, love them. Grind them up and they will eat them. They are very high in protein. The lima bean is another large bean advertised by the devil for you to eat, which will almost burst the lining of the stomach and intestines of a Texas bull. They said, that one is good for the nigger. Do not eat the smaller ones either, the ones they call baby lima beans or baby belly busters. Pastries and cakes, the kind made with crust of white flour and sweetened with white sugar, so sweet you can still taste them the next day, are not good for our stomachs. All this hastens you to the graveyard sooner than you would like to go. We will eat fruit and fruit pies. I love that little black blueberry pie, huckleberry, as we call it in the South. But do not make it with white sugar or crust of white flour. Use brown sugar and whole wheat flour for your pie and cobbler crust. Apples are better when eaten raw than when made into pies. This goes for pears, peaches, and bananas. All fruit is better for you raw than cooked. When fruit is raw, we get the benefit of its natural vitamins. If possible, never eat cooked fruit. If you must eat meat, always eat the cleanest, such as healthy tuberculosis-free beef. The lamb is best. Most beef is too coarse for our stomachs. The lamb is a much finer grain meat. Eat small young pigeons or squabs. 
which has never flown from their nest. Do not eat any bird that has been free to fly around and look for its own food. This is the teaching of a lot of me. Chickens are not fit to eat. You have to nurse them so carefully to keep them away from filth. If you would like to find good food such as lamb, beef, or even chicken, if you are a Muslim, buy it from the strict Orthodox Jew. Be certain it is an Orthodox kosher market because some Jews eat the pig. Orthodox Jews are excellent in protecting their health, even spiritually trying to do and eat like their prophet Mosa or Moses taught them through the divine teachings of Allah. If you respect yourselves as Muslims, the spiritual Orthodox Jew will respect you. Of course, no one will respect you unless you respect yourself. Do not eat ground meat unless you see it ground. Do not buy Christians ready prepared ground meats or any ready ground meat. Buy the quality meats that you like and have them ground by the Orthodox kosher butchers through their meat grinders because they do not have the pig near their shops. They are like us. They hate the divinely prohibited flesh. If you must eat rice, please brown it thoroughly in your oven or on top of your stove with a little butter or oil to keep it from sticking. Keep stirring it vigorously. Remember, eat only one meal once every 24 hours.